welcome to this week's vlogs everyone um it's 24 hours down back down the fan rod for match day three um so well here we go let's run uh, have a run through we've done the draw there's a few pegs underwater there's a few, but it does look good so i've picked peg 29 um you can clearly see there we're underwater so look, we've got the waders so it's all right we can work here um you can see overhanging tree there snags predominantly we know fish live around there in this lake we just do um so i've got my left hand rod is is sort of out in open water in the summer there's two lily beds there and there's a, a channel that runs through them so um i'm in sort of like where the channel is and literally that's the one with a bottom bait um and i've scattered 10 baits around it that's it 10 baits uh, and that's the cr wire it's all glogged up with the, the cr syrup um, so yeah, so, and then my middle rod then, I've moved over onto a, a stiff hinge, um, real, real hot, high stiff hinge though, let's bring it up because there's probably loads of crap over down here, uh, with a pink pop-up, uh, good up pink pop-up should I say, but it was white, it's now pink, um, and then the other one is on the old naked chod, um, with the same with yellow pop-up, and at the minute I'm just, I'm just banging out out there, bit of, I've got, there's no one on 38, so in all fairness, <clears throat> I've got a good chunk of water here, so I'm going to use that for my advantage. Um, I keep moving the rods, so I might as well for the first cut, do you know what I mean? Especially the ones that don't need clipping up, so we, we could do that. Other than that, that's the start of the uh, water temp actually, I've got, what are we looking at? 10.6 down there, I don't know if you can see it. 10.6, so it's not bad. Like I say, I haven't gone with tons of bait. Uh, I don't feel, I feel we're trying to fish for a bite, really. You know, it's a bit singles and more visual than anything else. I hope we'll do the trick. Uh, i got Nathan and Davey there with me, so keep it a little bit social as well then. So not, not just purely on my own, we'll have a chat with them later. See, see what they're actually doing. Nathan vlogs as well, obviously, so we'll, uh, we'll have a laugh now, don't you? Um, but other than that, I think, uh, yeah, we'll make it a nice short intro. It's going to be, you should see it drizzling now. But it is looking good. You've got to, you've got to say, you've got to like the look of that corner. So it's just a, pain, a bit of a pain in the bum to get. I mean, if I, I don't know if you can see the tree up there. See how many, there is, uh, Tell you what, I'd probably say I could probably count 50 to 20 leads <laughs> that glid in there. But I got the weight as well, so I could wade out a bit, get around it a little bit easier. So yeah, so that's the plan. Fingers crossed we don't uh, continue the blank from last week. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we don't. It's always a chance of rods in the water. Like I said, it's match day three, so it'd be good to get a few points, although. The swims that predominantly look the best down here was definitely the shallows. Um, it just looked mint again, and the fish, the wind was pumping down there. So, but the pegs was gone. There was a couple of pegs left. I, I just thought it'd be a bit too cramped and that. So we come up here, like I said, there's hardly anyone, less pressure. It's gonna be nice and calm off the back of the wind. Fingers crossed it was the right decision and I don't get flooded out. A lot of, I've had to bivy at the top just in case we have vivid up there so it should be all right we can move the rods back or they can sit higher anyway so yeah all in all things are looking rosy let's get a cup of tea down fingers crossed catch you in a bit right we're gonna do a little i've got davy because he's next to me and hey guys there, and they're messing around with their rods so what i thought i'd do we'll come and we'll have a look at these boys rigs as well so davy how are you fishing bud let's have a look i'm fishing Braid. Yeah, have a look. Let's get, let's move this camera. Put it on your palm there. Should be able to see it then. Camera's light, isn't it? You see that? Over in the dark. Let's pull it here. There we go. You can see a bit there. Right. So we got them. Run us through it, Dave. Right. What have we got? Uh, on um, a blowback rig with Manila on the top. With an Northern Special pop up, oh, snowman style. So you're going snowman? Snowman style. And then yeah. obviously that's just your anti tangle sleeve, and then you've got a bit yeah. of, using a bit of lead core then. Put a lead core on yeah. the 15 pound main line. Yeah. 
Sweet. And is that the rig that's been doing you your bikes in the last two winter leagues as well? It, it's the same rig as I use. Same rig. Everywhere I go, I caught yeah. fish up in White Springs with it. And, uh, yeah, that's so you, my go-to rig. That's your go-to rig? Yep. So see, so we're we liking the look of that. Now, we're going to pop next to the next one now. He's maggots. Isn't he? Yeah, he is my yep. So we're going off. Yep. We're, yeah. We're, you, get you ping him out, and then let's go and have a look. Nathan, Nathan's got a. Uh, he reckons it's a cool little maggot rig. So we're, we'll have a little bash. Yeah. Look at that. No? Where is he? Nathan. Comes are going bad. Right. Set you, let me set this bad boy down here. For now. Right. So had a look at Davy Riggs, we've seen as you're messing around, we thought we'll have a look at you, have a gander at yours as well now. Are you fishing, uh, what's your tactics this week, mate? Well, I'm going up to the market and a bit of fake corn on this rig, but the other rigs I have got on Warnies, which are, one's on a wafter and one's on a popper. Yeah. But I thought I'd give them the market to go, seems I was getting the winter seasons now and they say it starts working. It's kind of a weird rig, I've shown this in White Springs. But obviously I've got a size curve shank, a six curve shank hook. A fake corn actually on the on hair, the... but it's a, like a size 10 hook oh, see, on the thing. Yeah. But when you put your maggots on, don't get stabbed by the hook. You just grab, grab a couple Oh, of I can see already. It's like a safety pin catch, isn't it? Yeah, and you just push it back. It's, it's easier than just like trying to thread maggots onto dental them, yeah. floss, where it's a bit of a pain, depending on when you want to put it on. Yeah, so then you just literally pull the sweet corn up. Pull it in. Pull it in. It's all locked. And they all lock and they yeah, sit look up. That. that looks quite cool actually. I've all got fairness. a nice, uh, going to be a nice PV bag full of margets as well, and go, go yeah. with it. That looks good. Yeah, that looks nice good. Let's hope it buys it in my bite, innit? it? So you I could. Really take, take a bream. You take anything yet. He's still, he's still in for court yet. Have you on this winter league? No, nope, not this winter so league. So maybe the margets going to change the tactic. It's this week is for him. Relative so. 30 pounder out in Oxford. Not so long, uh, last week on maggots. On, like ma on maggots, yeah. They do work. I, I'm not one for using them, but they do work. So, yeah. So, there you go. We're going to leave it there. Obviously, these boys are all doing their rods. Actually, let's go see if we can catch Davy casting his rod out. Look at that there. Passing low. There you go, so David's, uh, David's rods are out then. So yeah, all right, well, just thought we'd do a little piece of it. Uh, we'll catch back up with you later. later. Davey, say bye. See you later. <laughs> catch you later. <laughs>
people. Right. Follow me, T. Oh, there we go. Got a lovely mirror there. It's nice to be fair, he's got a few nice scales on him. He said he might, he might push 20. If not, definitely a high double. So, we take that, a couple of hours in. Like I said, on, on a single bait. And uh, we've managed to wake one out. So we've got to be chuffed and happy with that. So I, I'm going to put it back in the sling now. Because we found the boys and they're just going to walk around and weigh him. And uh, let's see how, we'll see how far he goes. So I'll pick back up with you in a minute. There's a fish in their net. There's a fish in their net. Yeah. Um, welcome back. Uh, so I ended up dying in the evening that day. I've been so chilled out and lost track of the time. Um, with it all being so dark. Um, but basically, I was, I was kipping and I've gone and pulled out a little stocky. It's still a, it's still a fish. Um, so we're well happy with that. Um, but um, yeah, see how one. On the CR1 bottom bait, this one tucked in the corner, so just nine pound eight, which it all adds up to it. So, winner winner chicken dinner. Let's get this one back now. We're gonna uh, sort the rods out. So, catch you in a bit. Fellow carpers, um, well, what can we say? Last night was proper wet and windy. Um, but we bagged another fish, didn't we? We bagged another fish, we're well happy with that because we worked out like we're in December now, aren't we? Because it's like the first, it was the first yesterday. So I've even caught a fish in December down here now. Yeah. Get in there. Last year, October, this year, I've got November and December, so it's an improvement. Um, Let's have a look, let's run you down. Um, right, fish have come out. A couple have come out, to be fair. Marcus Jones is smashing this week up. Uh, he's on four fish, he's had three twenties. Um, yeah, he's fishing really well. He's, he's down in the shallows, I think it was 78. Um, then, so he's winning. I think it's between me and Daniel Andrews. I'm not sure the weight, I haven't potted it up for a second. Um, obviously, I had that. 19 pounder and the little stocky last night. Uh, Dan's had sure 14 and 11. So I might just be pipping that one in a second. Um, and then we've had Liam Keith, we've had one. Luke Mallet's had one. Um, 19 eight as well. I think there's again, there's three fish up the same weight again this week. Um, <coughs> I think that's. I think that's it. The boys uh, here yeah, didn't uh, have any bleak all night. So it went quiet after I had that fish. Like I, said, I was having liners all up until I had that run. And then and then nothing there and it just went dead. Um, didn't hear anything, didn't see anything. So no little sort of touches back until about five o'clock this morning. I had a couple of liners again. So hopefully they're coming back in here maybe. Fingers crossed they haven't all gone up the shallows. Um, so, but two fish, eh? We're happy with that. If we can see, hopefully, if not many more come out, like I said, that board, then happy days. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be well happy with that. So, I've redone the rods, uh, fresh bait on. Obviously, the one in the margin, again, is sticking with dust. The one I've got the stocky on, that's the bottom bait, CR1 um, on, a, on a Ronnie rig. So, same as I use it when. In the summer, and just just fish it, fish it on the bottom, innit? Just move the bead round, and it seems to be working, and, it, and it's still working. So we're we're happy with that. You know, we got that. Um, the middle rod, then I've pinged it right out into the channel where it goes down now, because um, I didn't have much luck after that other fish. That's on stiff days, pink pop up. And uh, my left hand rod, then is on the naked chod, which is uh, on the yellow pop up. So <coughs> it's all good. The water come up a bit last night, but now it's gone back down again. Um, yeah, not much to report, not, not much else I could really say other than um, fingers crossed it's getting up a fish in it. Let's try cement second. It'll be good, I'll be good if I can get second. 
put me right back in the mix. So, fingers crossed. Right, well, I've got a tea on a go. We're going to watch the sport, uh, see what we can conjure up and uh, get the thinking caps on and try and work some magic. Catch you later. Right, welcome back, carpers. Um, it's currently about an hour and a half, hour and 40 left. Uh, there's been more fish out. Uh, Luke Mallet has had more. Another one. 18, 18, 18. 18, 18. Basically, it, push, it pushes me down the third. Um, so it, it, it'll be Marcus at the minute. Marcus, Luke, me, Daniel, and then Liam. Liam. At the minute, in the top five for this week. I know. Um, Greenall must have been oh. around 25, didn't he? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, Greenall. Actually, would be fifth, wouldn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. So, right, anyway. Uh, David and Nathan here, obviously they've been fishing with me. I won't catch anyone after because it's going to piss down and I'll go straight out. So, Dave, obviously, how was your session gone, bud? Well, well Bream have got a pound and a half. Yeah. Three o'clock in the morning. I had a screaming run on my little rod in the middle of the night and reeled into nothing. Nothing at all. And then this morning, six ish, I hooked into a fish and lost in about 10 foot from the net. Oh, no, I cut the net. Yeah, I bet. It just shook his tail and off through the It's been quite tough down here, in all fairness, isn't it? Yeah, it has, yeah. Side of the lake. Definitely. It's been tough in general down the last yeah. week or two, anyway. Yeah, it has. So, but hey, your rigs are in the right place, you put them there another time, and you never yeah. know, isn't it? Yeah, as you say, so it's they're working. Same, same place, different day, they've had four fish off there. Yeah. You go, can't go wrong. Nathan, your session then? You've been <laughs> on the edge. Yeah, on the edge. Rate. Well, I had, a, I had a eel, which just absolutely annihilated uh, my rig completely. Absolutely. <laughs> it, it was it was rank. <laughs> I, I, I ate him. I ate him yeah, that's a cut lead for everything. But other than that, I've had a few bleeps. I've, last bleep I had, what, about 10 mm, ish this morning? Yeah. yeah about there. 10, 10 half 10, something like that. And um, that pulled my line out of the line clip. But other than that, yes. it's been pretty quiet for me. A quiet one. It would help if I keep not don't if I uh, if I, I stop hitting the switch on the receiver though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> might hear, bleeps, you, you might get him bleeped. You might hear him run then. Yeah. So, but yeah, in all fairness, it has been tough. We've worked hard down here, I think. Yeah, yeah, to yeah, yeah. Try and get what we've got. Obviously, picking up bites. I think I need to put a bit more bait in next time. Off. Yeah, I don't know. I well, don't the boys been putting the bait in and. That one they've been, they've been putting Marlo, loads. Marlo's been spotted in. Yeah, I've seen Marlo. The boys have been putting... See, that's, he's been spotting. See, he's not had a sniff, has he? No, I think it's just... You've got to be in the right place, isn't you? That's the key, isn't it? Location, location. I hope that they come across your bait. Let's be honest, these fish clearly move, they're still moving around in here. Yeah, they're everywhere. They, they, they still are, so... Yeah, so in all up, right, unless I catch a fish now, I probably won't get back to you because the others are going to open, so it's going to be a wet pack now. Nice. It will be. Oh, worst thing ever. Yeah, the worst thing ever. So, yeah, once again, thanks for watching this week's uh, winter vlog. Uh, well, winter league vlog, still not winter yet, we're in autumn. Don't forget, it's not winter yet. But, personal note, obviously, we've caught a fish now in November and in December, so we've got two months better than we did last year. So regardless of the, the actual league, on a personal note, it's a winner winner chicken dinner for me. Happy days for me. Still blanking for me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, hit the like, subscribe. Catch you later.